If you're anything like me, I'm not interested in these big money signings. I want to get down and dirty and get some free transfers in. Today, we're going to get the 10 best you can find in FM23. Now, quick heads up, remember we're in beta period, so by the time the full game comes out, one or two of these boys might be picked up by a club, but for now, they are available. Let's get to it. First up is Simone Zaza. Now, if you're looking for a striker with experience who can do pretty much everything, you won't go far wrong with Zaza. Have a quick look at his roles. He can cover it all, pressing forward, target forward, deep line forward, poacher, advance forward. He's got the attributes that can pretty much guarantee he can fill a good gap for you. Six foot one as well. Big boy, unit, get him. Next up, we go to right back or right wing back. And for me, this is the best pickup in the game at current time. If he's still available when the game comes out, the full game, definitely, definitely get him. Santiago Arias. A good career with Sporting, PSV, Atletico Madrid paid £13 million for him. As an attacking wing back or right back, he is a great, great option. Next up, under the radar, Ryan Thomas. Now he's from New Zealand, he spent his career in Holland with PSV. Really nice central midfielder and if you have a look at his positions, my, he's a Swiss army knife, he can play pretty much everywhere. I can't believe this man is going for free. Matteo Musaccio, Serie A experience, La Liga experience, what a player. He's got everything you want from centre back. Good heading, good marking, good positioning, teamwork, work work, bravery, aggression, natural fitness. This is a great signing for someone. 2018, he cost AC Milan nearly £16 million. Injury hit plague season at Lazio, but still, what a good signing this will be. A low key pick up here, Diwando Diadne. Now, this guy came up through Barcelona's B team, hasn't really kicked on, but he is available now. A tenacious central midfielder, and he can cover over at right back as well. There's not a lot of flaws to his game, a good all round player. He is wanted by a heap of teams when he starts the game, so act fast. Gaston Ramirez, well known, he's had time in the Premier League with Middlesbrough and Southampton and Hull, and loads of time in Serie A. For a mid-level side or maybe a championship level team, this could be an X-factor for you. Great flair, great passing, like a little Trequatista type, can cover a load of positions. What a great option this is for free. Again, wanted by a load of clubs though, so act fast. Now this is possibly my favourite one, Yoris Nangnong. I apologise if that's the wrong pronunciation, but this guy falls into the category of unfulfilled potential. He's only 25 years old, he's been in League 1, via Sevilla. If I look at his history quickly, you can see that Sevilla paid Rennes 12 million for him not long ago at all. The loan back to Rennes hasn't had a game at Sevilla and he's just been released by Saint Etienne. Untapped potential there, he's got head in at 15, his marking's good, solid positioning, composure and concentration and good physicals. This is a great pickup, can you reignite his career? Some really good centre backs available, another one here, Michael Hector. Just been released by Fulham. He came to Fulham via Chelsea, Sheffield Wednesday, time in Germany of Eintracht Frankfurt. There's not a lot wrong here, you know. He's six foot four, he's a big unit. Heading's good at 15. Amazing jumping reach. Balance for a centre back's good. Decent pace and acceleration. I can't find a lot wrong here. Delve into the history as well. He's gone for a lot of money through his career. He's been all over the place. That loan move to Frankfurt via Chelsea, then an eight million pound move to Fulham. Hasn't quite worked out. And now you can pick him up for free. 24-year-old Heinz Marshall. Now, he's been released from German football at Dynamo Dresden. There's a lot to like here. He can play in the central midfield role, attacking midfield, up front, out wide. Have a little look there. Three kicks are 15, corners are 15, so he's a good set-piece taker. Great long shots, passing, vision, flair. I like this guy a lot. So we've seen a right wing back, how about a left wing back? This is David Juncker, left wing back and everything's in order here. A great free transfer pickup, just released by Girona, by Celta Vigo. Crossing is superb, so if you're looking for an attacking fullback, this could be a man. No slouch going back either with tackling of 12, positioning of 12, decent. Acceleration's really good with his pace of 14. This is a nice pickup for that left wing back role. And finally, the bonus one. We can potentially have a wonder kid on our hands here in Amadou Traore, just released by Bordeaux. Now, he's only 19 years old, 
but have a little look at these attributes already. They're already on the way up. Dribbling of 14, with a first touch of 14, technique of 14, and chucking some work rate and determination in there as well. This guy can grow, grow, grow. Now add to that, he can play in midfield and anywhere across the front attacking midfield positions. But early warning, he is wanted, so I would act fast on this one. 19 years old, going for free, get him. How's that, my bargain hunting friends? We've got good options there, especially in defence. And that little cheeky one at the end, yes, please. Now look at this list. This list is what I got it from. All these players here are available on free transfers at the minute. If you're after this list, it is available in our Discord, so just jump into there, absolutely free. Until then, check out this video. We're here to help you find these players, and this one's going to do just that.